now in this we are going to see how to make this simple layer as of now we are just going to display the static data when we start writing the php code then whatever data we are having here that data we are going to fetch from the database and dynamically we are going to display all the data okay as of now we are just going to make this template we will see where we have to create the folder and we will start writing the code wherever you have installed jamp just come to that path and inside that we will be having htdocs folder okay this one inside this htdocs folder i'm just going to create one new file i'll just give the file name as e-commerce website okay you can give whatever file name you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give e-commerce website i'll just open this now you can see it is completely empty i'll just right click on this folder and open with code Okay, when we installed VS Code Editor, we have seen if we check that open with code, then we will be getting this option. If you don't check that one, you will not have that option of opening with VS Code Editor. Okay, now in this, we are just going to do basic setup. We are going to make the basic layer. And then after that, we are going to see how to create admin panel. One by one, we are going to see so that you won't get confused with this big project. Now here inside this I don't have anything. Now here I'm just going to create one file. I'll just write here index.php. Okay, we are using PHP. So it is important that we have to start this Apache. And I'm going to use MySQL database. As of now, I'm just going to start this one. I'll just close this. Only if you start this, you will be able to run PHP scripts or else you will be getting the error. Now I'll just copy the path. And here I'm just going to paste that path. From here I'll just remove this. Instead of this I'll just write here local host. Now here I'm having empty page. I don't have anything to display. Now inside this first I'm just going to write this basic boilerplate of HTML. I'll just close the left panel. If you just click on control B the left panel will be closed. Now I'll just change the title here. I'll be writing here e-commerce website e-commerce website using php and mysql now below this title i'll be writing one comment and here i'm just going to write bootstrap bootstrap css link below this i'm going to write another comment i'll be writing here font awesome link and here inside this body, okay, where my body is ending, I'm just going to write one comment. I'll just write here bootstrap JS link. Now here, I have just searched for bootstrap. Now here, I'm just going to click on this first link. Okay, we are going to use bootstrap. If you are not aware of bootstrap, no problem. We will see how to write bootstrap code. Okay, we are just going to use basic classes in bootstrap. So you don't have to worry if you don't know anything about bootstrap. Okay, now you can see the latest version is 5.1.3 i'm just going to click on this get started okay i'm not going to download bootstrap i'm just going to link this css and js files first i'm just going to copy this css link and here i'm just going to paste that one then again i'll just come down now i'll just copy this link below this comment i'm just going to paste that one I have just linked bootstrap CSS link and this bootstrap JS link. If you want, you can paste this one as well. As of now, we are not going to do this. Only we have just copied the first link. Now here I'm just going to search for font awesome CDN. Once you search for this, just scroll down and here you will be having this website. Just click on this and from here we are going to copy the CDN link. Okay, CDN stands for content delivery network. Now from this website, I'm just going to copy this all.min.css. I'm just going to copy this link. And here below this comment, I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, we have just linked bootstrap CSS link, font awesome link and bootstrap JS link. Now here below this body, if I just write here h1. Now for this, I'm just going to write hello. I'll save this. Now I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having hello. Now this whatever font it is been applied that is been applied from bootstrap. Okay, in bootstrap, we will be having some default font family that font family is been applied for our text. And also you can see here the title is been changed to e-commerce website using PHP and MySQL. Now first we are going to see how to create the navbar. I'll just remove this. 
let me just write the comment i'll be writing here navbar now below this i'll just create one div and for this div i'm just going to give the class as container fluid okay this is the bootstrap class if you are using container fluid it will take complete 100% of the width i'll just enter now inside this div container i'm just going to create the navbar and that navbar will be the first child inside this div container so here let me just write here comment first child below this i'm just going to write here nav okay if you want you can directly copy the code from bootstrap let me just show you how to do that i'll just come to bootstrap and here i'm just going to search for navbar okay here you will be having the options i'll just click on this first option now you will be having multiple navbar designs whatever you want you can select okay you can see we are having plenty of designs here as of now in my project i have used this first one okay here i am having this in place of this i am just going to give the logo we are having home link drop down disabled and we are having this search so i am just going to copy this and here i am just going to paste that one okay i have just done that now from here i am just going to remove some of the classes so that whatever i have used that will be applied here okay now this colors i am getting you can see this red colors i am getting because it is giving me the proper indentation because i have installed one extension indent rainbow because of that i am getting this color okay this is not any error don't get confused with that this is not an error okay this is the extension which i have installed okay now people will get confused with this red color people may think that this is an error so as of now i am just going to uninstall that extension i'll just click on this and here i'm just going to uninstall this one i'll just come here i'll just close this now again i'm just going to open the file okay now everything is fine i'm not having that colors okay that is basically that extension is used to give proper indentation okay later on i will be installing as of now in this project i have just uninstalled that one so that people will not get confused with the error and this one now for this nav we are just going to, okay these are bootstrap classes okay whatever code i have written here i have just copied from bootstrap and here i have just pasted now we are going to do some of the changes inside this we are going to give this class okay this is the navbar this is going to indicate that we are using navbar so you have to keep this navbar before that let me just come here and i'll just refresh this you can see this navbar has come here now we are just going to make the navbar whatever we have made here that kind of navbar we are going to make this navbar expand large also we are going to keep because whenever we are making this website responsive then this is very important and here instead of bg light i'm just going to give bg info okay whatever colors you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give this bg info now if you see here left and right side i'm having some of the space but in my project i'm not having any space so for that if you inspect this let me just inspect this one okay you whenever you inspect this you will understand whether it is a padding or margin you can see if i just inspect this here i am having this one okay this is completely responsive okay responsive navbar now here i'll just come to computed now whenever i hover on this content this content will be wrapped when i click on this padding you can see now whatever space i am having that is the padding okay that is not border that is not margin whenever i hover on padding i'm getting this space so for that here inside this div container whatever div we have created for this i'm just going to give padding of 0 i'm just giving padding 0 on all the four sides for this particular div container now if i refresh this one you can see it is taking complete 100% of the width okay by default each and every element will be having some padding and some margin if you don't want that then you have to give them the value as 0 now next instead of this one i just want logo here now here let me just write here logo okay later on i am just going to change this then this we need because whenever i inspect this one and whenever i see inside small screen that button okay whatever button you can see here this button for that we need this particular code okay this is the icon we are having then below this we are having this div container okay this particular data target whatever we are having here this one and this one it should be completely matching only then you will be having the output if you change this one then you will not have the output now if i just write here content one 
I'll refresh this one. Now, whenever I click on this button, you can see it will not work. So for that, we should give proper spellings here. Whatever ID we are having, we should be having the same thing here. Okay, inside data BS target, we should be having the same value. Now, if I refresh, now when I click on this, it is working completely fine. Now, here first link I'm having home. Now, inside this, I'm just going to give this home. Then next, I'm just going to remove this. Instead of this, I'm just going to write here products. I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having home and here I'm having products. Let me just expand this home products and here we are just going to display the logo. Next, I should be having register contact this cart. Let me just come here. I'm just going to remove this entire list. I'll just remove this one. I don't need this. I'm just going to remove. I'll just copy this and below this I'm just going to paste again I'll paste and here I'm going to paste products then I was having register then below that I'm just going to write here contact then we should be having cart symbol here I'll be writing cart later on we are just going to change then we are having total price I'll just copy this one and here I'm going to paste and here I'll just write total price I'll save this I'll refresh this one okay let me just come to my project I'll refresh this now here I'm having home products register contact everything we are having here now as of now I'm just going to give here total price demo price I'm going to give 100 now in place of cart and logo we are just going to make that changes now here I'm just going to come I'll just search for font awesome font awesome icons and from here I'm just going to copy the code for cart now whichever icon you need you come you have to come to this website and you have to search for that particular name now this page will be opened now here i'm just going to search for cart now from here whichever cart you want you can just copy the code as of now i'm just going to click on this cart shopping and here we will be having this code okay if you just click on this the code will be copied i'll just come here now instead of this i'm just going to paste that code I'll come to my project I'll refresh this one now you can see the cart is been dip now you can see here the cart is been displayed now on top of the cart I just want this number so for that we are going to use HTML tag that is nothing but superscript now here after this I I'm just going to write here superscript okay as of now I'm just going to give here one I'll just close this superscript I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see here I'm having this one okay this is how it is going to work then next we are having this form inside this we are having D flex okay which means display flex okay we are having input field and button as soon as we give display flex that will come in horizontal row if I don't give this class I'll refresh this one you can see here I'll be having this kind of output so for that we are just using this display flex then we are having this form control we are having all this class then type is equal to search placeholder we are having and area label if you want to give you can give or else you can remove that one okay it, okay it completely depends on you then below this we are having this button now instead of success i'm just going to give here light i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the button okay this search color is been changed in my folder i have just copied the images folder inside this i'm having all these images okay i have just copied this folder and here i have just pasted inside my project folder now for logo i'm just going to remove this instead of this i'll be writing here image inside this i'll be writing this images folder inside that i'm having one image logo.png now if i refresh this one you can see here i'm having this output okay this is my image now i just want to decrease the width and height of this one so for that here i'm just going to create style sheet okay we are just going to add some of the styling for that now for this here i'm just going to write here image instead of writing image whenever i create image that will target all the images so for that for this image i'm just going to give the class i'll just write here logo i'll just copy the class and here i'll be pasting that class now for this let me just give the width i'll just give here seven percentage and height also i'm just going to give here seven percentage i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here i'm not having any output because i have not linked this file 
now below this i am just going to write one comment i will just write here css file now i am just going to link that one now here i am having style.css we are having relation and we are having href style.css now if i refresh this one now here i am having this logo okay which is having width at 7% and height at 7% here i am having home products register contact this particular icon and we are having this total price and then we are having this search box and inside that we can search okay, here we are having type is equal to search so whenever we type here we are going to get this one okay whenever i click on that it is going to cancel all the text okay this is how we are going to create the nav bar next below this i am just going to create the footer okay this entire footer i am just going to create below this nav bar i am just going to write one comment i will just write here last child now here i am just going to create one div and for this div i am just going to give the class i will just write here bg info inside this i am just going to create the paragraph let me just come here i will just copy this and here i am just going to paste that one all rights reserved okay everything i have just written i will come here I will refresh this. Now here I am having this footer. Okay, later on whenever we are displaying this products and this categories, now footer will come down. Now for this one, I am just going to apply some of the classes. Here I will be giving padding of 3, which means I am just going to apply padding on all the 4 sides. You can see now here I am having the padding for this. And also I am just going to give text center. Okay, as soon as I give this one, this paragraph will come in the middle. I will refresh this. Now this paragraph has come in the middle. Now, as of now, I'm just going to comment this out because I just want to display this after displaying all the products. Okay, next we are going to see how to display the products and how to display the side nav. Now, if I just refresh this, you can see here I'm having nav bar. We are done with this footer. Next, we are going to create separate file and inside that we are just going to paste the footer code. 